Hello and welcome. I am Leo van der Broek. I am 27 years old and I'm developer and co-founder at Sendent. I will be taking you through this presentation today. Welcome to this online presentation about the Sendent Outlook add-in. Let's start by introducing ourselves. Sendent is a longtime partner of Nextcloud. We started working together at the beginning of 2017 and have continued to work together as partners since that time. We've built an integrated solution between Outlook and Nextcloud. Our solution is based upon the demand for a seamless integration of secure file sharing using Nextcloud while maintaining the tried and tested experience which Microsoft Outlook provides worldwide. We are currently servicing users from over 55 countries working at companies ranging from 25 to more than 500 users each. Today we are going to demonstrate how everyone can use Sendend to securely communicate and share content using the tools you already know. We have based our demos upon two very different customer cases. The first customer case is about Launch Design. Launch Design is a small company specialized in designing custom corporate identities, including custom color schemes, physical marketing and web designs. When they presented their case to us, they were particularly interested in exchanging high-resolution media content with their clients and delivering their designs to printing houses for final production. Launch Design told us they wanted to share high-resolution PDF documents with their clients for review. Once the client had approved, they wanted to send large EPS documents to printing houses for final production. Here is how they are using Sendend to optimize their content exchange workflow. Let's meet Lawrence, one of the designers working at Launch Design. Lawrence just finished a new design and is eager to share it with his client. He already started drafting the email and is now ready to attach the content as an attachment. Of course, Lawrence is using Sendend. All he has to do is click the Share Files button on the top right part of his screen. He is presented with a password dialog and upon accepting the suggested password, he sets the expiration date for the shared file and clicks Save. Now he's ready to upload the design. When the file finished uploading, a custom snippet is inserted into the email body, containing a link, the password, and the expiration date. Now all he has to do is hit send and await his client's response. Let's head over to the recipient side of the story. The client receives Lawrence's email and copies the password. He then clicks the link and pastes the password. He is now ready to open the PDF and review Lawrence's awesome design. Let's take a look at a very different customer case. Asicuro Private Insurance is an insurance company specialized in insuring cars, valuables and homes for wealthy individuals. The insurance agents often share comprehensive documents containing highly sensitive information with their clients. They are in search for an efficient and cost-effective way to securely share those files. Asicuro Private Insurance's specific needs include removal of the attachment size limits from their workflow, avoiding saving large attachment files in the Outlook mailbox to save costs, and service their premium customers with a secure and easy to use file sharing tool set. Let's take a look at how a secure private insurance adopted Sendend in their workflow. Luke just received a taxation report for a valuables collection indicating the overall value of that collection. Because the overall value exceeds standard insurance coverage, Luke has to get more information from the client about how the valuables are secured in the current storage location. He enables secure mail 
and then uses the default Outlook features to attach an Excel file containing the taxation report to his email. Upon clicking the Send button, he is presented with a dialog asking him to choose whether he would like to create or use an existing guest account for the recipient's email address. Luke enables guest account and clicks Save. He is then presented with a file sharing dialog we saw earlier. He sets the password and expiration date and clicks Upload. When the upload is done, the email is sent to the client. Let's take a look at the recipient side of this story. The client receives an email from Luke and reads the snippet text. It reads, it is an email containing sensitive data and therefore requires the client to open the link to read the full message. The client selects and copies the password. He then clicks the link and pastes the password. The client is now able to read the entire email and download the taxation report by clicking on it, as you can see at the top of the screen. There is one more thing I want to show you in this demo. Luke opens the sent email a while later and uses Activity Tracker to see if the client has opened the email yet. He even has the option to view the email himself or unshare it if necessary. So that concludes our demos. There is more to send out than you have seen up until now. Our server app, for instance. The server app provides an easy way to manage send end settings for all users in one place. It is downloadable as a Nextcloud app. Once installed, you can find it in the Nextcloud settings page. We are continually updating the server app with more features to come. There are other things we haven't talked about. For one, SendEnt is multi-language. We support English, Spanish, German, French, Italian, and as our native language, Dutch. We also make it easy for companies of any size to centralize management of the add-in through ADMX files, group policies, and the server app. In the near future, SendEnt is coming to small businesses and consumers who require less than 25 licenses. We are also continuously working on new features to make the SendEnt add-in and server app even better. So to recap, these are some of the features we have and haven't talked about today. SendEnt enables you to share files without worrying about email attachment size restrictions. You can request files from your recipients by using the public share feature. You can use custom branding to style your snippets as you have seen in the two demos. Management of settings is easy by using server app. You can use secure mail to secure the entire email body, including attachments. You can also make it easy for regular contacts to use Nextcloud with a guest account feature. This concludes our presentation. I want to point out there is a free version available at the link displayed here. You can also check out our website to learn more about basic, professional and premium plans. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the email address displayed here. Thank you for watching this presentation and many thanks to Nextcloud to make this possible. Stay safe and stay healthy.